Hi, this is Dr. Rahman and today we're going to talk about acids. So when we talk of acids, so first let's look at the definition. Acids simply means properties of the disease. Like we have this is our garden mein bahut sari property rehti hai we have land we have buildings we have furniture what not similarly we have properties in the business and properties of the business are said to be assets hope you got it you know any item it's a beautiful thought any item in the business that does have these three features or characteristics are said to be assets number first it is owned by the business so the first character has to be there it is owned by the business matlab ki ye asset jo hai ye business ka hona chahiye where the business does have the ownership for example the recent example that i have given that i have chosen is the example of school अब स्कूल में हमारे पास बिल्डिंग पड़ी हुई है तो इट्स दैट बिजनेस सो द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर इज दैट इट शुड बी ओनड बाय द बिजनेस नंबर सेकंड इज दैट इट प्रोवाइड्स यू सम बेनिफिट्स इट मस्ट प्रोवाइड सम बेनिफिट्स टू द बिजनेस दिस इज द सेकंड फीचर एंड सेकंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ एवरी एसेट तो दूसरा जो कैरेक्टर है दैट इज इट शैल प्रोवाइड यू द बेनिफिट्स so so you you talk of the assets of the school like for example building the building you know you it provides us a lot of benefits they say it saves us from cold from extreme chill uh from dust doom and dalot to bahut sare you know features building ke rehte hain jitne bhi students hamare school mein padhte hain so they feel safe and secure and pleasant and it provides a cool and calm atmosphere to read and to learn So the second character is that, yeah. For example, if I do have a machinery, yeah, my pass, वहाँ पर computers लगे हुए हैं. Where from students learn uh, PowerPoint, Excel. So it does provide benefits to the students and as well as the business. So the first character is it shall be owned by the business. Number second is it shall provide you some benefits. And third one is it shall get converted into cash. That it shall have convertibility. तो तीसरा जो फीचर तीसरा जो कैरेक्टर एक एसेट में होना चाहिए कि या तो वो खुद एक कैश की शक्ल में होना चाहिए और इट शेल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू कैश आदर इट कैन प्रोवाइड यू अ वेरी ह्यूज अमाउंट और मे बी अ स्मॉल अमाउंट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द नेचर ऑफ द बिजनेस एंड देर वन मोर थिंग दैट यू नीड टू कीप इन माइंड इज दैट एसेट्स vary from business to business depends upon the nature of the factory nature of the firm and nature of your work for example if we talk of a school or a college or a university we can have one type of asset but when you talk of automobile manufacturing they do have you know some different kind of technology and machinery so school and automobile does not have same kind of assets and properties <coughs> so uh, these three characters are essential for every asset so these are the parameters that can be used to check out whether an item is an asset or not hope you got it now let's talk of the classification of asset broadly speaking we have three categories of assets number first is non current asset non current then we have current assets then we have fictitious assets now let's talk of the first category first <coughs> that is first we will be taking our non current assets these are those assets those properties which are purchased not for the purpose of sale but they support us in sale in trade in commerce and there is one more definition that you going to remember that is those assets which are used for a long period of time bahut dinon ke liye bahut saalon ke liye for example i have constructed this building in first school and i have constructed it for 60 70 maybe an infinite period 
एक ऐसा एसेट जिसने जिसको हमने परचेज किया हुआ है नॉट फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ सेल बट दे सपोर्ट अस इन सेल जो हमें सेल करने में बिजनेस करने में मदद फराहम करें तो वी कॉल दम नॉन करंट एसेट एंड एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ लैंड बिल्डिंग प्लांट मशीनरी फर्नीचर फिटिंग्स एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा एंड देर इज सब क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस नॉन करंट एसेट दैट इज uh non current assets this one more thing that you need to keep in mind is that non current assets are also said to be fixed assets or you may call them long term assets as well now the sub classification is tangible and intangible assets so we going to remember that ki jo hamare paas long term assets rehte hain they are further classified into two categories number first is tangible what are tangible assets those assets that we can see that we can touch those assets which do have physical character that is which do have feasibility <coughs> we may call them tangible fixed assets for example land we can see that building very robust technology machinery whatever you can see and whatever you can touch in the business and if it is not for the purpose of sale we call them tangible assets like you might have seen the tangibility and the intangibility in movie nike to jitne bhi assets aapke paas hai if you can see them agar wo aapko dikh rahe hain and you can touch them we call them tangible assets examples land building machinery fittings furniture and what not now the next classification is intangible assets those assets that we can't see but their presence is always there for example the first example that i'm always choosing is goodwill that is reputation of the business you might have seen that in the ipl or psl auctions किसी प्लेयर को वहां पर परचेज किया जाता है से अराउंड ट्वेंटी करोर्स फिफ्टीन करोर्स एंड समबडी इज गोइंग टू बी परचेज एट बेस्ट प्राइस ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेंटी लैक्स वाई दिस ह्यूज डिफरेंस दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ रेपुटेशन एंड गुडविल जैसे हम मिसाल लें एक एग्जाम्पल लें कि विराट कोहली वॉज परचेज ऑन मे बी से एटीन करोर्स एंड एट द सेम टाइम अब्दुल समद वॉज परचेज ऑन ट्वेंटी लैक्स so this difference is because of goodwill and reputation of virat <coughs> hope you got it other examples are uh, copyright patent trademarks licenses etc so we have this first classification of assets now the second classification is uh, a current asset there are actually two schools of thought and two beautiful definition that we always use in school uh, or in classes number first uh, you know uh, those assets that we can convert into cash within a very short period of time or they may be in the form of cash already an asset that is either in the form of cash ya to wo bilkul cash ki shakal mein maujood hi ho jiski jo cash ki shakal mein hi presently ho or an asset that can be converted into a cash within a short span of time and generally we say within one year is it hum kehte hain current asset and these are also said to be what short term assets and the other definition that's the other school of thought they say that those assets which keep on changing you know which keep on fluctuating which keep on changing uh, are said to be a current asset and examples are cash stock debtors bill is receivable marketable securities and other short term instruments like you can have a check or bill etc so let's assume ki make uh, i do have a, a shop i'm a retailer mere paas ek bahut stock pada hua hai on the very first day jaise maine stock ko purchase kiya i do have a bulk of stock in my you know go down and shop bar bar uske baad kya hota once customers start you know purchasing the goods the stock goes on decreasing 
फिर एक टाइम आता है मेरे पास कुछ रहता नहीं देन आई परचेज इट अगेन या कैश की हम मिसाल ले अभी यू जस्ट टेक द सेम एग्जांपल ऑफ स्कूल स्कूल में सुबह चला गया आई हैव सीन इन द दिस इन द डेस्क इन द ड्रायर आई हैव सीन रुपीस ऑफ 1 लाख सो ड्यूरिंग दिस डे वी हैव परचेज समथिंग एंड एट द एंड जब चार बज गए वन से लीव आई क्लोज द डोर्स आई हैव सीन दैट देयर वाज अराउंड 10000 of cash so it comes and it goes so this kind of asset that keeps on changing always is said to be what current asset or short term asset examples cash stock uh, bills receivable marketable securities debtors etc uh, etc et now let's move to the last classification and this one is very dangerous the last classification of asset is fictitious asset fictitious a fiction kind of an asset these are also said to be dummy or artificial asset now look at the definition first an asset that uh, does not have any realizable value means you can't convert them into cash and actually they are not assets in reality but shown as an asset for a temporary period of time an asset that is not in 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 a tangible form means they don't have any feasibility nor they can be converted into cash or they don't have any realized value ek aisa asset jisko jisko aap cash mein convert bhi nahi kar sakte hain it does not have realized value but these are shown in the balance sheet for a temporary period of time fir we just cut them off we write them off fragment by fragment you know piece by piece and finally they to get disappear from the books of accounts these are shown in the balance sheet just to get them balanced for a temporary period of time and examples are you know uh, example that we always use is the first example is the preliminary expenses those expenses which are incurred at the time of registration or getting the certificate of incorporation us time documentation mein you know getting the seals and signatures you will you incur a lot of cash and the, this is of non recurring in nature you do you don't need to do it again and again that's why it's called a fictitious assets the other example is brokerage that is used at the time and shares are issued this topic will come and will elaborate it beautifully inshallah once will be there in the balance sheet why these assets are treated as assets this is a big uh, a billion dollar question and will be answered in that session inshallah so now we have learned the definition of asset means simply properties of the business and properties vary from business to business depends upon the nature of your sale and the firm and the factory और हमने क्या पढ़ा वी हैव लर्न द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एसेट थ्री क्लासिफिकेशन नॉन करंट एसेट्स और लॉन्ग टर्म और वी कॉल देम यू नो फिक्स्ड एसेट करंट शॉर्ट टर्म देन वी हैव लर्न फिक्टिशियस एसेट्स होप यू गॉट इट इनशाला सी विद नेक्स्ट लेक्चर प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू प्लीज हिट द बेल आईकन सो दैट यू गेट ऑल माई लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स एंड नोटिफिकेशंस Please baba please thanks a lot for